does seasickness cancel out hangovers? Or is it more of an additive thing? Welcome aboard, Immortal! What's up, Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look into a first-person fantasy adventure with Immortals of Avium. This game drew me in very quickly with its fantasy world and using magic spells as your main combat attacks. Although very ambitious, this game never reached a height in sales that the developers wanted as it almost crushed the studio and pretty much did. We take a look and see if this game was warranted its poor sales and a lackluster interest. Immortals of AVM was developed by Ascendant Studios and released by Electronic Arts in 2023. The game takes place in a fantasy world where there is a war in the world where main character Jack chooses to become part of the war as his abilities as an unforeseen are capable of wielding three color magic of red, blue, and green. Your sigils will help you focus your magic. Make it accurate. Keep it level. Prevent it from killing you. Your sigils mark you as a battle mage of Lucium and the Light's army. A Magnus. Yes. Now, get ready to fight, Magnus. The story has Jack witness the destruction of his home by Sandrak's army in Lucium, where he watches his friends perish in the assault. Jack vows to fight and is recruited to fight against Sandrak himself. The world and lore are explained well throughout the journey, but the writing does have a whimsical feel to it as I feel that the writers wanted to give more personality to the characters. This portion of the game just doesn't feel like it's taking the feel of the game seriously. I had some laughs at times, but when every character acts like a smartass, it begins to lose its luster. That's not what happened, and you imperialist fuckos know it. Oh, did I say kingdom? I'm sorry, I meant a failed collective that's now just a stretch of gravity challenge rocks. Maybe the next wrong-headed egalitarian social experiment with magic fares a bit better than all of this unchecked calamity. Wow. Does he always love to hear himself talk this much? Well, Jack. I mean, I can't say no. The gameplay does feel nice and responsive where you will switch between the color of your magic when fighting enemies. This gives the strategy in combat to be very important as you juggle defensive shields, medkits, special moves to the right color that affects the right enemy. As a first person shooter, this game is very responsive and handles well where I never felt judder or slowdown. The puzzles and platforming were a nice addition as you use magic to open doors, manipulate structures to progress. Nothing to advance here, but the way you solve them feels nice and fresh. These were not just side content to make the game longer, they do help with the pacing as well. The visuals and design are done very well. I had a fun time exploring the world as it opens up with some nice creature designs. The characters and cutscenes have nice animations to them and they are very detailed. They do expand the story much further once you start getting into it. The magic on screen is wonderful to see in action and have a visual flair you would expect. Sparks fly everywhere and the design of the magic is flashy enough to really create that wow factor. Sometimes there are too many things going on on screen where you mix up where the enemy is at times. Overall, the game is a fun romp in this fantasy world as a first person shooter but with magic that does have a nice story behind it that is a little bit hindered by its writing that may feel juvenile at times. Immortals of AVM gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its wonderful fantasy world that is expanded by fun combat with many fantasy elements in this platforming adventure that is only hindered by its character development and writing that will surprise you in thinking that you were once again in a high school playground. That's it for this review of Immortals of AVM. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Talk? Can you? What do you mean? What do you mean? 
Yeah, I, I don't understand. Ah! Yeah, I don't understand. That's what you sound like. Soft and squeaky meat. Goat mouth. You talk like fear with its pants too tight. I think they look good. Damn. Yeah. Uh.